Hi, this is Ryan at True Audio, and I'm here with Tino from K-Tech to talk about the new K-Tech Stingray bags. Hey, Ryan. Thanks for having me. Yeah, happy to have you. I'm here today to show you that we have finally the large eggs, and we have them, of course, in the, in the orange original and in the new purple color. You know, I really like the purple color. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, it really pops in here, uh, mm -hmm. and you can tell it's a K-Tech bag from across mm -hmm. the room. It's great. Yeah, the design is very obvious. And, um, you know, the color is great, but the new features I like much better. Okay. So one is, for example, the antenna attachment or also accessory attachment because you could use it for any kind of antenna or uh, a cell phone holder or, you know, even a tablet holder for that matter, right? If it's good enough, strong enough. It has a one quarter twenty and a three eighths. So the uh, the internal is the quarter twenty yes. and then an external three eighths. Yes, you take the the little uh, wheel off, right, and then uh, you have space to attach whatever you need to attach. Oh, that's very innovative. I don't, nobody else is doing that. Yeah. So we also have changed the fabric. I mean, with the new X series already early in the year, we introduced already the the small X, also in purple and in orange, and we introduced the Junior X and the Jet X for the Zaxcom Nova, right? Mm -hmm. So we changed the fabric, which is a very significant new detail when you see the bag. Um, we have the handles a little nicer padded now. Um, yeah, that's uh, the design in general is the same. We optimized the sizing for the new mixers from sound devices, the 888, the Scorpio, and the 888. 883, yeah, <laughs> I got that right. Yeah, I've always loved that your designs take sound mixing into consideration. Mm -hmm. They're not just a bag that fits a box of certain dimensions, yeah. but there's thought in every aspect from where the clips are, you know, to the new accessory mm -hmm. mounts, uh, you know, considerations with the fabric and everything. The, the mesh in the back that yeah. allows, you know, airflow. The uh, airflow and also, don't forget about it, you can uh, park it on your trolley, you know, your lift up the handle. Oh, when you're going through an airport? Yes, exactly. Oh, that's yeah. brilliant. And then it's securely parked on your trolley and you don't have to worry about it tilting, falling or anything. You know, and it's easier than having it all the time on your shoulder. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. Obviously, through the, through the airport, you don't want to wear a harness. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely not. Yeah. And so, uh, what sizes does this come in now? We have the, uh, the Junior X here. Uh, in yeah. purple and orange, the, the, the large. Very, the very small one is the Jet X because that's for the Nova, Zaxcom Nova, right? Right. The next step up is the Junior X, um, also in purple and orange. So this one um, here. Yes, um, which is very similar in size for the um, like the Zaxcom uh, version, but um, we wanted to keep the possibility to add other mixers too, and not just the Nova, right? So that's why we had to have a Nova designated back, and then we had the. So it's a little that. wider, a little bit deeper, yes. will fit like an 833 or... Absolutely. And it also would work with um, a Mix Pre 10, you know, that's, I get this question a lot lately, so that seems to be a popular question. Um, everything here is the same like on these. We have this antenna attachments, we padded the handles a little better, we have a different fabric, the um, um, zipper tags are uh, color-coded now. So when you actually, you don't have all black zipper tacks here and you wouldn't know where to open, but this way you know it fast, right? You have here the purple one and the gray one. Oh. Right, so that helps um, being a little faster when you need it. And you mentioned before that, uh, you know, that this is, um, that we, we, um, we talk to people, we try to find out what's going on, what they need. Um, that is a mentality which came back from Manfred Klemmer, the, uh, the founder of K-Tech. Um, and when he passed away, his daughter took over. She said, we continue his, his philosophy. We talk to the people, we find out what they need and then build it accordingly. It makes no sense if we sit behind a desk and start drawing something and think, oh, that's cool. <laughs> but then nobody needs it, right? Absolutely. You, uh, and customer feedback on these bags are great. They're durable. Uh, they're utile. Because you can move the internal dividers around, uh, yeah. You know, you can really create a custom solution for Absolutely. what you need as a sound mixer. Nice that you mentioned the divider in the middle because when you do use the SL2, that is suggested to take the divider out. Sure. I've seen uh, someone trying that, squeeze it in, but that looked really awful. And the person actually thought it was all okay, and he did ask me why it looked so you know, strange. It's cramped in one part, it just doesn't work. So you either move that to the side, mm -hmm. Or our suggestion is to simply remove it because at that point uh, you gain enough space 
and this whole um, system is uh, sitting in there properly, prop properly and relaxed. Nice. Yeah. Nice. And you know that uh, another point, um, because you're making it for sound mixers, you you have the kickstands on the the junior and the um, uh, Jet X bags. Yes, we had the kickstand already initi um, initially on the Junior and uh, even on the smaller bags. Back from the old days, I think it was the, uh, for the Tascam DR70 bag, we also had a kickstand in implemented. It was a little different looks than that, but it was there. Uh, we have it on the Mix Pro bag for the Mix Pre 3 and 6 and for the Zoom F4 and F8. And now we finally have it also detachable though, because that was the only way to make that really work well. And it's also a good thing because uh, it's a solid um, um, kickstand, so it, it's not necessarily the lightest weight. I'm not talking heavy either, but my point is having something rigid and you have it all the time in the back when you carry it and doing stuff might not necessarily be a smart thing. So we had it detachable. Now, by having it detachable, uh, you can also use it now for all the older bags, right? Sure. So you can buy this and attach it to your very old blue version of the Stingray, the KSRA1 and 2, mm -hmm. and also for the previous models of this one here, right? The Junior, oh no, the Junior has its own integrated one, but for the small, the medium, and the large. So this is available as a standalone product? Absolutely, now you can buy this. Some people might lose it, they might have to replace it, sure. and some people might just say, hey, that's cool, I want to use it on my other bags. Right, right, that's, that's a great idea. Yeah. Uh, and once again, you're thinking about what sound mixers needs yeah. are and providing for them. And just, I want to make sure you understand too here, this is a little rubberized, like a, a, a leather kind of thing. Oh, so it doesn't so slide. So it doesn't slide, right? Oh, So it's brilliant. kind of solid when it's on the table. Good attention to detail. Well, the bag gets heavy when you put everything in there you like, and then when you put it on the table, it needs to be solid. So when we're in the store and we help a customer fit the harness, we'll, we'll grab one of the bags and we'll start putting weight in there, you yeah. know recorders off the consignment table, batteries or whatever, and we'll show the customer that the weight should be down on the hips, like a backpacker mm -hmm. who has 70 pounds on their back would yeah. have, as opposed on the shoulders, which was the tradition, yeah. you know, to the point where they should be able to fit their hand underneath the harness on the top. I like that you mentioned that, because it's important that people who use the harness, I know this video is not made for the harness, but um, I, I like to point out that we have this video on our web, on our, I'm sorry, on our YouTube page, in our channel, it, it explains exactly how the harness has been, you know, uh, set up properly. It is in a very initial, takes maybe a minute or two to set it up properly, but once it's set up, it's easy to get in and out too. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, when we first showed the harness many years back, when we first came out, we didn't have a video. So people, it was intuitive how to set it up. So a lot of people still make the mistake to put the weight on the shoulder. So, you know, by simply having the hand on the knees, tells you, if you can put the hand on it, it tells you you're right. Mm -hmm. But if they pull on the strings on top, you have to weight back on your shoulder. You need to loosen the top, that's all it is. Tino, can you show us some of the features that you put in here specifically with the sound mixer in mind? Yeah, um, the important is for um, the, the operator that he has access to every um, aspect of the uh, mixer, right? So we made sure that when you open all the sides, right, um, um, you know, that you have access literally on every part of the mixer on this side and the same on that side. And also on the bottom, we have a big flap. You reach on it, you have here for the NP1 battery a little uh, strap. You reach literally every little detail on the mixer without having to move the mixer from inside. I understand, um, I've been told that the mixer gets married with the bag. And if they have to take them apart, it's kind of like a divorce and nobody likes that. Oh, yeah, that, that's the last thing you want to do to have to, yes. you know, use a bag that you don't have access to your cables. If something yeah. goes wrong in the field, which unfortunately mm, is the happen. norm, uh, being able to get in there quickly, being able to easily swap a cable out or run a cable mm. into another input uh, is, is vital. And mm. this bag makes sure that you can do that. The Stingray lineup of bags is absolutely awesome, and you're addressing a lot of the needs of any sound mixer out there. Uh, thanks for coming today, Tino. Thank you for having me. This is Ryan with True Audio. If you like the KTEC Stingray lineup of bags, make sure to click like on this video. To get future content, make sure you click subscribe. Uh, once again, this is True Audio. We know what it's like out there.